Hi people and I'm back cooking again and today because it's getting colder I've decided to do a warm meal. Right I am now starting by cooking cook, cooking pork mincemeat. Now I know I always get beef but this time I got some pork and like an, an idiot I forgot to get an onion to go with it but or as I call them onions to go with it so I'm gonna let that cook get off them get off I'm gonna let that cook while I chop the spud taters up now on the recipe I saw it did actually say add onion and I do not know why I went shopping and forgot about it I don't know why but anyway I did find out that they do frozen garlic now so uh, we're quite pleased about that I and mean, you might say oh I've been great doing it for years but I only found it yet today I went shopping today and I only found it today so what I'm doing is I'm going to slice these spud taters up with my sharp knife because I'm scared of cutting myself and what I'm going to do is I'm going to line them up and put them in this dish I will show you me doing it but I'm just going to get another I've, I've had them soaking in water and you might say oh you shouldn't have done that but well I did so I'm not making them any specific size I'm just like, well, I'm just putting the knife on and it's going through. So that is the spud taters cut up. Now I know the meat isn't ready, but I'm just going to start with the basics of putting the spud taters in the dish. Now I did want to have some gravy in that, but the meat's not done. To, up to gravy standards yet so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, what is that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some can you see some salt and some pepper in now it does say on the packet that this meat is pork and beef well I can't see any beef in it so I'm just going to say it's all pork and that is the spud taters all laid out as well it's all covered as much as I can Ooh. So yes, it's all covered with spud taters. I'm just waiting for the mincemeat, but I will show you as things go on. Right, I don't know if you can hear me over the meat cooking, but uh, well, it's cooking. <laughs> Uh, what I'm going to do is, as you've seen me add some, already seen me add some salt and pepper, I'm going to reach over and I am going to get the garlic. Got a bit too much out there, but it doesn't matter. That's it. So that's the garlic. And now I'm just going to, well, get the garlic cooking while the meat is cooking. That's a bit brown already. That's, uh, I think this heat might be too high. I've turned down to number four. Because after it's getting done and other half is in. As you can see, look at that, that's all done. Can you see that bit? Yeah, that's, that's done. Well, that bit's done anyway. 
We want it all like that, don't we? Not just bits of it. So, bake it all up, make it better, so it can all get done. I don't think this is the right oofa do for this uh, for this mince meat. So let's go and see if we can get another one. That's better. I've got another oofa do for which can pick more up and turn more over. I can smell that garlic coming through. Like I said, I think I put too much in. That, see, that's in one lump, big oh, wrong lump, son. That's in one big piece and not even turned a bit brown. So we should have broke it up. Never mind. We'll get broken up. If not, I'll get scissors on it and cut it. Right, I'll let that cook a bit longer. There's nothing more I can do apart from let it cook. And now because it's starting to get brown all over, I think I'm making them because I'm moving it round. I am going to add some oregano or as she called it, organo. Who am I to argue? <laughs> and I'm going to mix that in. Oh, I shouted there, I didn't mean to. Let's mix this all in. I think all the garlic's mixed in, I can't see any of it. There was quite a lot, well, quite a lot to what I put in. I mean, some people put four or five in. And I think just one should be enough. So, now, I'll let just, oh, just let that brown. I'm not going to put the mushy rooms in yet. I might, might be best to switch the oven on, though. Uh, I'm not going to put the mushy rooms in yet because, well, it hasn't fully gone brown so I'm just waiting for it to go brown and then I'm going to put the mushy rooms in. As you can see, the meat is 90, probably 80, 90% gone. So, I've got some frozen mushrooms. Yeah, I managed to get the frozen mushrooms. What is that clicking? And I've got, I've left them to thaw out in a dish and I'm putting them in now. That's it. Now they, oh, listen to them spitting because uh, of the frozenness. So I'm going to mix them around. Some of them are still a bit frozen. So I'm going to, as you can see, most of the meat now is turned brown. Now with this dish you can add cheese if you want. If you want, if you want. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But not, obviously not in the frying pan. <laughs> I'm going to at the end. The woman, I will admit, did actually use cheese in it. Oh, it looked lovely. It looked absolutely gorgeous. So now I'm going to let that cook a little bit longer and get the rest of the ingredients. Now I'm going to add some... There's a bit of meat in it, a bit of water, a bit of juice in it. I'm going to add some gravy granules. Now it says gravy granules for meat. And last time I looked, gravy granules, uh, 
minced meat. Um, yeah, minced meat is meat because it's called minced meat. So we'll try and make some gravy out of that. Plus, why are you beeping? Why are you beeping? Plus, I've also made some other gravy. And I'm going to pour some of that. There you can see. Ow, ow, ow. Hold it with a hand, okay? It's hot. Let's move it down, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some. gravy over the spud taters with some some more oregano I, 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 I can't even say it oregano or oh, what she said it were now it's the transferring how do you turn this cooker off like that yeah no, let's make sure it the right way so it won't go off Right, so spoony, spoony, why do you get a spoony cake? But it doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that, as you can see, on to the spud taters. I'm going to have to get something else to help me. I can't just do this. Right, Oofa Doofa's come to rescue. So let's just get it on the oofa doofa. God, oh, minute that's heavy. Wow, uh, a little bit like that, and it was so heavy, it was unbelievable. Now, your brown bits you can see is not burnt, it's the gravy granules that have not. That have not uh, dissolved, but it doesn't matter because I've got some gravy left, and I'm going to put it <laughs> get off. I'm going to put it on all on to the uh, meal. There we are, and that's what she made anyway. Well, like I said, she put cheese on hers. So let's just. Spread it out a bit and just to make sure it doesn't go dry we're finishing off what is clicking we're finishing off With the rest of the gravy. Now I'm going to put that in the oven for after I've knocked my thing off. For I'm going to put that in the oven for about 20. Oh, stop kicking that camera! I swear I'm going to take it off here. Uh, I'm going to put that in the oven for about 20 minutes and see how it comes out. And that is it. It's just come out of the oven. I've just fell underneath with a fork and the spud taters are now soft so it can be dished out and that is the end product I know it looks burnt on camera but believe me I think it's just the gravy bits that have um, still uh, just got well just got cooked and not um, well just got cooked got some on a plate so here is the taste test right so let's try a bit try and get a bit of tater and minced meat taters keep falling off the fork well that's that's why they're so soft i don't know what you've done to the minced meat but it has so much flavour. Oh my god. 
it is unbelievable. Now, normally when you do mincemeat, it's bland. It really is. Yeah, well, I put oregano in, salt, pepper, mushrooms, garlic. There's a lot of more flavour to it now. Oh, thank goodness for that. So it's not bland. Potatoes are nice and soft. Minced meat is not too like, um, um, tender. Oh, I mean, chewy. All good. Thumbs up. Lee says it was nice. There's going to be a link in the description to my merchandise. If you like what you see, please keep viewing me. If you want to leave me a thumbs up, please do. If you want to leave a comment and a recipe, please feel free, the more the merrier. And if you haven't subscribed, or you know someone who hasn't subscribed, get them subscribing, get yourself subscribing, I've done it, yes. Thank you, bye.